Moo Moo, uh, this morning I saw something you're not going to like. What did you see? I'm afraid to tell you. Uh, since last time I told you about such a thing, uh, you got a little hysterical. Rita, don't be silly. There's nothing that you have seen that can make me hysterical. However strange it may be. Go on, tell me. As you wish. Moo Moo. Uh -huh. This morning in the woods, I... I saw a rat! What? Please help me! I told you you'd become hysterical. I'm not hysterical. I'm not hysterical. I'm not hysterical! I just felt like standing up. Are you sure you're not afraid to touch the ground? No, of course not. So then, if I made you touch the ground, nothing would happen to you? You wouldn't do that, would you? No, Rita, don't do that. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do it. Help me, please. A rat. See, I shouldn't have said anything, Moo Moo. It was only a rat and it was in the woods. You know we told them that you're afraid of them and to please not come out. It's been years since any rats have come around here. Uh. Come on, there's nothing here. Don't be silly. I have no intention of going anywhere. As you wish. I'm gonna have a snack with the others. Hello, Rita. What were all those screams that we heard? It was Moo Moo who got hysterical when I told her there was a rat in the woods. Oh! But you know very well that Moo Moo's afraid of rats. Why did you even mention it? I thought she wouldn't be afraid of them after so many years. Ow! 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 You know what? We need to do something so that she's no longer afraid of rats. Well, what can we do? We can do the following. We can transform the car into a rat and make it chase Moo Moo until she gets tired. So tired that she can't take it anymore. Then the rat car will slowly approach Moo Moo until Moo Moo just has to accept that she's no longer afraid of rats. That seems a bit cruel to me. Yeah, I know. You'll see how cool this is going to be. Let's see what happens. I'm tired of being on top of this slide for so long. I think I'd better get down now. But what happens if a rat comes? But on the other hand, it's been years since I've seen a rat. I think Rita just told me that to frighten me. I've decided. I'm getting off now.
Listen, Rat. If you plan on biting me, just do it. Just do it, but quit following me because I can't take another step. Wait just a minute. You've been following me this whole time and haven't done a thing to me. Well, what kind of rat are you? I thought you were going to bite me. Hello, Mumu. What are you doing on the ground? You're not going to believe this. There was a rat chasing me and I thought he was going to eat me. But when I stopped running, he didn't even touch me. So you are no longer afraid of rats? Well, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> What a long day. There's nothing going on and I'm so bored. We could play something. Yeah, but what do you want to play? A long time ago at school, we put on a play and it was a whole lot of fun for everyone. What a great idea, Alfred. We can all play a part in it. The hardest thing is deciding which play to do. Why don't we do the three little pigs? I'm already a little pig. That sounds like a good idea. I could be the wolf since I'm already a dog. Rita and Milo could be two more little pigs. But what should we do with Mumu and Talala? We could make Mumu the narrator of the story. And Talala... Talala can be in the crew and help out. Sounds good to me. Let's go get everything ready. My dear friends, I'm going to tell you the best story that you will ever hear. It's called Alfred the Wolf and the Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived in the countryside. Each was very different from one another. And they were threatened by a ferocious wolf. They decided to build houses of their own to take shelter. Rita was very tall and yellow and didn't like working very much, so she decided to build a little house made of straw so she could finish quickly and go out and play. But what Rita didn't know was that the wolf was about to give her the biggest scare of her life. On the other hand, we have Milo. Milo was a great worker and a wonderful carpenter, so he decided to build a house made of wood. Milo was sure that his house was very strong and never thought for one second that anything bad could happen to him. He's a real expert creating houses made of wood, but what he really wants to do is finish quickly to go out and play with Rita. The last pig was Olga, the best looking and hardest working little pig the valley had ever seen. Olga decided to build a house made from stone and brick. It was a very strong house and was very secure even if it took a lot of effort. I've already finished my house, and you should know that my house is made of straw and is just as good as yours made of wood. What a waste of time. Mine is already complete. I'm the fastest and the best. <laughs> what on earth made you build a house of stone? I made one out of straw and it's already finished. While on the other hand, you're wasting time making a house of stone? <laughs> All of a sudden, a strong, ferocious, and terrible wolf approached our friends with the intention of eating them all up in one single bite. By the time they noticed, the wolf was already very close and they all yelled, A wolf! A wolf! They all went inside their respective houses and just barely saved themselves. But the wolf was very hungry, so he decided to go to Rita's house. I'm so hungry! I'm gonna eat the little pig who's inside this house! You won't be able to come in my house! That's what you think! I'll show you how I can huff and puff and blow your house down! The wolf blew very hard and the house went flying through the air. 
Rita, afraid that the wolf was going to eat her, ran as fast as she could into the house made of wood. But the ferocious wolf followed her. Come out of that house or I'm going to eat you! We will never come out. This house is very strong and you won't be able to come inside. That's what you think. I'll huff and I'll puff until this house flies away too! The ferocious wolf huffed and puffed and the house trembled but remained in place. He blew again and the house flew up in the air. Rita and Mila were shocked to see that the house had been blown away and they quickly started running to Olga's house. But the wolf followed them. Come out or I'll huff and I'll puff and blow this house down too. I don't think you'll be able to do that with this one. I'm sorry, Mr. Wolf. That's what you think. Now I'll show you. <sighs> Wolf blew and blew, but the house wouldn't move. You see, Mr. Wolf, you can't blow away this house. <sighs> the wolf tried, but the house wouldn't move. Then the wolf went up on the roof and tried to get in through the chimney. But the three little pigs lit the fireplace. And the wolf reached the ground, he burned his behind and ran away. Ouch! 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 That really burns! It really burns! Finally, the little pigs were safe, and the wolf never came back to bother them again. End of the story. Like I've already told you many times, Moo Moo, I'm the prettiest giraffe in the whole wide world. Like I've told you a thousand times, you're the only giraffe, and that's why you're the prettiest. I detect envy in your words, and you know that envy is very ugly. The only ugly one here is you. What do you mean I'm ugly? I'm the most beautiful one in the universe. No way, I'm the prettiest one here. There has to be a way to find out which of the two of us is the prettiest. We could ask our friends and let them decide. Olga, can you help us out for a minute? Of course, what do you need? We need to decide which of the two of us is the prettiest and we want you to tell us who the winner is. But that's just silly. You're both very pretty, I can't compare you. You see, Mumu? I'm the prettiest of all. Not even Olga can deny it. Cut it out, Rita. You're both very pretty and I vote for both of you. Rita, maybe Olga's right and we're both so pretty that nobody can decide which one of us would win first place in a beauty contest. Hmm, we'll see about that. Ha ha. Rita can't stop saying that she's the prettiest, but I think that everyone is pretty in their own way. Don't worry, Moo Moo. She'll get over it.
Look at that beautiful flower. And this tree. What lovely green leaves. Hello, Milo. What are you doing? I'm taking pictures of the prettiest things in the garden. So how come you haven't taken a picture of me? Rita, I said the prettiest things. Hey, Milo, don't be mean to me. Come on, take a picture of me. I can't, Rita. I'm very busy and I have no time to waste because I have to submit my photos to the local newspaper. Are you telling me that those photos will come out in the local newspaper? Yes. I have to be in those photos. Let me help you. I'm sorry, Rita, but I have a lot of work to do. You're not going to win this one. Please go away, Rita. You're bugging me. I don't know what you're talking about, Milo. I'm just here peacefully admiring nature. Rita, please. Rita, let me take these photos in peace. What? Milo is taking photos of Rita? I have to be in the photos. I'll go talk to him. Now you'll see how pretty oh. you look. Oh. Oh. Now I'm going to show you what a flash looks like on your whole face. Hmm? These two are going to give me the best photos of the year. <laughs> oh. How dare you do that? When I catch you, I'll... Oh. How do you expect oh. to catch me? You're nothing but a big snow giraffe. I won first prize for the best photos. You want to see them? I want to see how pretty I came out. I'm sure I came out much prettier. I've named this photo Crazy About the Flowers. I've named this one Autumn. And this one doesn't have a name. <laughs> 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 